gosh. I don't know if I'm going to talk in this video or I'm just going to cook. I have no idea. I have no idea. Let's see what I want to talk about. Um, uh, I want to probably talk about my cooking experience. Yeah, probably my cooking experience. Um, Y'all probably don't know what I'm talking about, but... I wasn't always a cooking type of person. Oh so, my god! First things first, wash your hands. So that's what I'm gonna do first. Wash your hands before you touch anything. So, washy, washy, washy! right now it's probably like 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock I just got out the shower so I decided to put my night clothes on or no not night clothes my night outfit I decided to put my night outfit on Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I decided to put my night outfit on, so just got out the shower, fresh deodorant on, I got fresh deodorant, um, I put baby lotion on, I put some baby lotion on, my little, my little shoes that I'm wearing, my little nighttime shoes, uh, making this weird noise but we're about to get into this video and I'm about to make some dinner so I got some ground beef right here I like to smell my food <laughs> all of it so I got some ground beef and let's see I'm kind of like all over the place. The shelves just come here. Okay, they got taco sauce in here, taco seasoning. So, which way to open it? Okay, open it this way. Oh, let me show y'all. So, this is my like favorite, favorite, favorite um, taco shells to eat now. I don't know if you can see that. Can y'all see that? I get it from Food Lion. So, uh, 10 taco shells come in this box. Some taco sauce and taco seasoning mix. So, I actually think I ate all of my um, lettuce. So, I only have like tomato, taco sauce, sour cream, and yeah, some rice make some rice so taco sauce seasoning mix taco shells I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven on a box it says to preheat the oven to 325 so I go ahead and do that and I'm not gonna lie for a long time I was making tacos wrong like I was making tacos the wrong way like I was not making them the right way um and so I had no clue until I read the box. So I'm just gonna be, <laughs> I'm just gonna be straight up with y'all. Like I was not reading the box. So I do got a can of corn, and I do have a bag of rice. So which rice am I gonna go with? Roasted chicken? No, I like garlic butter rice. There's some whole grain right here. Uh, about that but roasted chicken no a 
guess I'm just gonna have to go with the whole grain rice, you guys, because yeah, because garden vegetable, nah. So oh, I'm gonna just I got this regular food lion brand corn. I think it's only 99 cents, so dollar. One dollar. And so, oh yeah, I've had this for mad long. Like, hold on. Ah. Hold on, y'all. My toaster and my electric. I had this for a long time. So, I just literally plug it in. Hold on. Oh, I gotta mix it. I literally just plug it in to the wall and it's like a magnet it'll literally stay this is my first cooking video so bear with me like bear with me the camera's kind of far far away but i don't know how this is going to turn out as far as the video so i've never done it from this angle hopefully the lighting is good but yeah it's just a regular taco night with the ingredients that i have um and people see me on instagram live um, making breakfast one morning and on top of that um, I like to put my food on YouTube stories but the thing about YouTube stories is that they're actually going away like there's not going to be no more YouTube stories like I think at the end of this month so that kind of sucks in a way but I want to show y'all so right here let me see if I could turn the camera y'all see that bag right there uh, right there all my water bottles that I drink, I put them in that bag right there so I can um, get money back. So it's like five cents, ten cents, nothing major. But you want to, you know, earn money and save money. Uh, as much as you possibly can. My dish set is from Costco. It was a gift when I lived in my house. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the corn on the stove because you guys, tacos don't take that long to make. Remember the oven is still going. The oven is still going and I like to season my corn with um, salt, pepper, a little bit of butter. So if we just go to my seasoning cabinet up here, uh, got salt. I got regular salt, but I need to get seasoned salt because, yeah. So, a little bit of salt I'm adding in now. Probably can't see. It's okay, though. A little bit of salt. You don't need a whole lot. Definitely don't need a whole lot of salt. And it's a pepper. See that? So, some pepper. Nice. And then, uh like to get the butter so don't need a whole lot of this either so come over here wait no I'm sorry come over here I like to rinse everything off like to rinse everything off oh blue bonnet the big blue bonnet I feel like this video is kind of like ghetto a little bit it's kind of ghetto when you don't have a full-time camera guy <laughs> you have like a part-time camera guy you kind of just gotta you gotta fend for yourself you gotta fend for yourself honey. 
and gets the job done regardless because content is content. I learned that. So I guess sort of the hard way a little bit. I want to add a little bit more, but that's probably good enough. So it's not hot yet, but I put it kind of on high. I put the corn a little bit on high. As far as the taco shells, since the oven is about to be done preheating, let me show you what these bad boys look like. So, yes, nacho cheese taco shells. So, I'm going to open it up. And, yeah, it's just a regular taco night, you guys. I like to, I'm like a, a messy eater, kind of. I like to just dig right in and get straight to it. <laughs> So I'm, I'm not going to show y'all um, me eating because that's kind of, I don't know, I can, but I don't know, three, four, five, let's say six tacos in case I want some. And then with the remainder, I have this drawer right here. I just go in here and get one of these zippy, zippy, zip lock bags. Zippy, zippy, zip lock bags. So let me put this butter back. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. And take the rest out like so and just drop them in the bag just throw them in the bag so they can stay nice and fresh you feel me but I'm gonna tell y'all something like I haven't always been a person that liked to cook I literally had to like just start and I didn't have no interest in cooking but it's just like, okay, if I'm in a relationship and stuff like that, like, I need to be able to cook for being my person. Like, come on, what we look like eating out every night? What we look like? Do we look like the bank? Do we look like we just got some money? Like a whole lot? Nah. And it's very expensive to eat, whether you're eating at home or if you're just eating, like, indoors. Oh, it's very, uh expensive to eat now um so i don't recommend uh wasting food sometimes i have to throw out stuff but overall i try not to <laughs> yeah so i got six hard shell tacos let me go ahead and get my scissors for my knife set knife set is from costco too no costco is not endorsing this video or sponsoring this video so yeah, this is just some taco sauce. Um, this is the rice. This rice is easy. You just literally uh, cut open the slip right here and then just put it in the microwave for like uh, 90 seconds, I think. Yeah, 90 seconds, pretty much. So, yeah, it's just so easy. It's not hard. As far as the taco shells, I think we put them in the oven for five to seven minutes. Yeah, five to six minutes. So my corn is going, remember it's just salt, a little bit of salt, some pepper, and butter. So the meat is still going, I'm waiting for it to turn really brown. And I like all my food well done, like I'm a well done type of girl. Everything needs to be well done, cooked to perfection, seasoned to perfection. Like, I'm big on flavored food. I'm big on that. I don't want it if it's not hot, fresh, and seasoned well. Like, I'm good on that. You could keep that. So, and I like my taco meat, like, chuck, 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 chucked up. Like, not all pieced together. All, like, I'm very picky, you guys. I'm very picky just about anything. Just very picky. So, I like it all chopped, chopped, chopped up. So... I know I'm going to have critics in the comment section saying, do this right and do that. And I read it because I literally be learning from y'all. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I learn from the comments. The comments do make me, I feel like, a better person. Um, just even when I get a lot of crazy criticism, um, it makes me have more compassion and sympathy for other people just because... I know what it feels like to be judged when I wake up in the morning and when I go to sleep at night. I definitely know exactly how it feels. 
and it doesn't feel good all the time because I'm one of those people that I naturally want people to like me like I'm just naturally that way like what's there not to like what's there not to like you see the good of me you also see the bad of me like what is there not to like what 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 <laughs> I don't want YouTube to demonetize this video they will too like they will in the last video I just posted uh on Friday you guys uh they literally cuz I zoomed in with my camera my outfit remember I was sitting in my car I was like oh yeah look at me and then um they was uh demonetized the video so I had to put the hearts, I had to put the hearts over my body just so they don't think I'm trying to like, they don't think I'm trying to like, I don't know what they trying to think I'm trying to do. I don't know. But I respect YouTube at the end of the day. I can't really say anything bad about YouTube. YouTube helped change my life, literally. So I ain't got nothing bad to say. Nothing bad to say. Hey, 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 hey. They might be like, you can't dance like that on camera. Woo, 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 woo. So, oh yeah, that's another thing about me and my food. I like everything to be done at the same time. Everything. Like everything coming off the stove, out of the oven, fresh hot. Like, um, it's so much you guys don't know about me though, because it's just like Every time I do a YouTube video, it's like trucking, me being outside, parts, equipment, drama, uh, a breakdown, or gotta go get this. Like, it's always like that. So, it's like, I feel like my real personality, like, who I am outside of trucking, it's never been able to show. Here and there a little bit. Okay, here and there. Y'all got that. Here and there. But, really, nah. And it's just, it's weird to me. It's weird a little bit. Yes. I wish you guys could taste my food. I would definitely share. Definitely. Oh, definitely. Oh, while we cooking or whatever, let me go into our outfit of the day. Wait, no, I'm sorry. It's outfit of the night because it's literally nighttime, you guys. So let's just hold on. Cause you know how YouTube is, but I might not even can't turn around and show you got quick turnaround. <laughs> Cause I might not even can put that part in the video because YouTube is very strict now, y'all. I don't know what happened. I don't know if the... I, I, I don't know. I don't know. They're very strict. It's like, they don't need us. We need them type stuff. So, you can't really say curse words. You just got to be like... You just got to be like clean on here. But, um... <laughs> We gonna drain the excess oil, y'all. Let me go ahead and rinse it. Maybe this video is not gonna be a flop after all. I don't know. I'm very picky, you guys. Dang, the oven is still preheating. It's not hot enough yet. Let me go ahead and get the little mitts gloves out. The mittens. Look at my cute little mittens. Am I saying that right? Mittens. Mittens. Hi, I'm Coco. What's your name? Mmm. I'm just ready to eat. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> that was weird, right, you guys? I don't know. It's kind of lame. It's kind of corny. So, oh. So, I got to set the timer for six minutes. So, timer... Six minutes, and then we take our uh oh, it almost fell, didn't it? Uh oh, I'm trying to look at the camera and cook at the same time. That's a fail. So we're gonna go ahead and sit those in there like so, and they're gonna get nice and warm. Okay, as far as the corn, y'all really can't see. I know, I know, or I shouldn't even be doing this, but it's corn. I'm going to turn up the fire a little bit to keep things going. It's almost done. It's literally almost done. So I'm going to go ahead and 
not start the rice just yet. Turn the fire off. Meat is pretty brown. Meat is pretty brown. So, dump it in the strainer. It's a quick little melt too, you guys. Strain. It's not much oil or grease. I'm sorry, I keep saying oil. Grease that came from the meat. It's a small pack of meat, you guys. Nothing ridiculous. And we're going to add a little bit of water to my measuring cup or glass 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 I guess and so we're going to strain 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 uh, oh okay it's, it's, it's definitely draining okay it was more than what I seen yeah you don't want all of that excess in your body so we're going to drop that meat on a stove uh, I added a half a cup of water go ahead and talk, turn the stove back on to medium we're going to add this taco sauce baby so add the taco sauce with that water mix it all up mix it all up mix it mix it all up ooh yes Throw that in the trash and remember the what's the call it is going kind of turn the fire up hot so I can go ahead and simmer in the seasoning so it could be so delicious it's so delicious and I usually don't eat on glass my glass dishes you guys I like doing plastic Ooh! so get the other ingredients out so the sour cream sour cream Okay, so then we got the cheese. My camera just cut off. So cheese and my taco sauce. Please tell me. I, oh, yeah, I got that taco sauce. I was about to say we ain't got no taco sauce. What we doing? But we got that Taco Bell taco sauce. Go ahead and shake that up. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get the water. Water break. So let me some water. Hold on, you guys. I know y'all gonna be looking all in my fridge with y'all nosy tail self. Ooh, that's kinda ooh spicy, baby. Ooh, this is gonna be so delicious, you guys. So delicious. You have to turn that fire up because the taco shell's about to be done. And we got two minutes on the taco shell. And then go ahead, the rice is in a microwave heating up 90 seconds. And so what I realized, the meals that I cook, because I used to be like, I don't know about cooking. I'm probably never going to be able to cook properly. Um, I noticed when I do my meals, the more I do them now, like I don't need the ingredients. I don't need the recipe. I just know how I like my food and I want my food. After doing it so many times, so I've made tacos for other people so delicious I can't stop saying it. it's so good and so I'm so confident now whereas before I wasn't as confident in my food like I just wasn't like I would make food for other people and not even want to eat it because it's like and this is how my food turned out so this is the rice and corn and ground beef and then you have the sour cream. You have Taco Bell's medium taco sauce. You have Kraft cheddar cheese. It says natural cheese. And then here is some of the nacho cheese shells. And then I have my glass with my pitcher of water. So that's what I'm having tonight for dinner, you guys.